Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your weekly midweek Love Tarot reading from the, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. But yes, of course, <laughs> today, November 1st to the 7th, November 1st to the 7th. Um, let's start with Aries, Aries Mesha, Aries Mesha. Okay, greetings. Greetings, Aries Mesha. And um, your Love Tarot reading for the week of November 1st to the 7th brings you the energetic Page of Swords. Page of Swords. This card is a symbol of um, intellectual curiosity, of, of communication, and a youthful zest for life. If you're currently single, the Page of Swords indicates that you might attract someone who is intellectually stimulating, possibly younger in spirit, if not in age. This person might stir your thoughts and challenge your existing beliefs about love and relationships. Be open to their perspectives. The, this exchange of ideas could lead to a profound personal growth and a vibrant romantic journey. Meanwhile, those already in a relationship might find the Page of Swords encouraging an open and honest dialogue. This card sort of nudges you to express your feelings, ask mean, meaningful questions, and truly listen to your partner's responses. This is a time to clear any misconceptions and enhance your mutual understanding, promoting a healthier and stronger bond. The Page of Swords also advises caution against hasty, de hasty decisions, making comments without careful consideration. And this card calls for the maturity, for maturity in dealing with matters of the heart. As we transition into November, the energies here, the energies are ripe for transformation for Aries. Mesha, this could mean evolving your understanding of love, breaking free from past patterns, and embracing new ways of expressing and receiving affection. Additionally, this period could bring some unexpected news or messages to your life related to your love life. Stay alert and respect, receptive to those uh, communications as they might significantly influence your romantic relationships. So in essence, dear Aries may shed the Page of Swords and might suit to approach your love life with an open mind, a thirst for knowledge, and a ready, readiness for new experiences. Let the transformative energy of November guide you towards a deeper understanding. And remember, communication is key in all matters of the heart. Greetings. Greetings, Taurus Vrishava. Your Love Tower reading for the week of November 1st to November 7th brings you the, the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. This card is a symbol of abundance, of security, and um, groundedness. For the single Taurus Vrishiva, the King of Pentacles could signify the arrival of someone who embodies the qualities, qualities of this card. For example, stability, dependability, and successful. This person may be a sense, may bring a sense of security and comfort into your life. They might be someone who values tradition, family, and long-term commitment, just like you. If you're already in a relationship, the King of Pentacles suggests a period of stability and prosperity. It's a time to appreciate the solid foundation with your partner that you've built together. The card encourages you to continue nurturing your relationship with care, patience, and practical actions. It could also hint at a deepening commitment, perhaps an engagement, a marriage, or planning for a family. The King of Pentacles also serves as a reminder for you to maintain balance in your love life. While it's essential to provide material, materially, to provide material goods for your loved ones, of course. Don't forget the importance of emotional support. Ensure you're tending not just to the physical and pra practical aspects of life, but also to the emotional and spiritual needs of your relationship. So as you enter, as we enter November, the energies are ripe for 
growth and consolidation. So for uh, Taurus Vrishiva, this could mean taking concrete steps to secure your love life, whether that's through deepening your existing relationships or attracting a partner who complements your desire for stability and abundance. So in essence, dear Vrishiva, Taurus, the King of Pentacles invites you to approach your love life with a sense of grounding, stability, and a readiness for long-term commitment. Let the transformative energies of November guide you toward creating a love life that is both materially and emotionally fulfilling. Hello, Taro Mituna. Hello, Taro Mituna. <laughs> Me Tuna, your tarot. Sorry about that. Hello, Gemini. Me Tuna. Your love tarot reading for the week of November 1st to November 7th highlights the King of Swords. This card symbolizes intellectual authority, um, clear thinking, and truth. And if you're single, the King of Swords could indicate the arrival of a new someone new who embodies these qualities, or this person can be intellectually stimulating, articulate, and honest. They may challenge you in a way that sparks your curiosity and broadens your thoughts about love and relationships. For those already in a relationship, the King of Swords suggests a period of clarity and rational thinking. This is a time for open communication and honesty in your relationship. The King of Swords encourages you to bring any issues or concerns with your partner in a logical and straightforward manner. It's a reminder to maintain a balance between your heart and your head, really, making sure your decisions are as informed by reason as they are by emotion. The King of Swords also serves as a reminder to uphold integrity and truthfulness in your love life. It's important to stay, to stay first of all, true to yourself, and communicate your needs honestly to your partner. This card might also suggest a need to set clear boundaries in that relationship. And as we move into November, it's a time of transformation and growth for Gemini Mituna. This could mean developing a deeper understanding of your emotional needs, expressing them clearly, and making decisions that align with your personal truth. In essence, dear Gemini Mituna, the King of Swords invites you to approach your love life with clarity, with honesty, um, and intellectual engagement. Let the transformative energies of November guide you towards a deeper understanding of your emotional landscape and a more truthful expression of your love life. Hello, Cancer Karka. Um, your tarot love reading from November 1st to the 7th presents... Ta -da, the Page of Wands. This card symbolizes enthusiasm, exploration, and discovery. And for the single Cancer Karka, the Page of Wands could, uh, could, could signify the rival of someone who embodies the energy of this card. They're spontaneous, passionate, and adventurous. This person might reignite your passion for love and inspire you to explore new aspects of romance and relationships. If you're in a relationship already, the Page of Wands indicates a period of renewal, renewed enthusiasm and adventure. It's a time to rediscover the joy of being with your partner, to explore new activities together, and to reignite the spark that brought you together in the first place. This card encourages you to be spontaneous and to make the most of the moment. The Page of Wands also serves as a reminder to keep your passion alive. While you're single, or whether you're single or in a relationship, it's important to maintain your enthusiasm for love. Remember, love is an adventure to be explored, not a destination to be reached. Mm, mm, mm. As we move into November, it's time for transpiration. Uh, for transpiration. <laughs> Sorry about that of transformation, but of also exploration. So for Karka, Cancer, this could mean embracing a more adventuresome spirit in your love life, exploring new ways to express your affection and allowing your passion to guide you. So in essence, dear Karka, Cancer, the Page of Wands, 
invites you to approach your love life with curiosity, enthusiasm, and a sense of adventure. Let the transformative energies of November guide you towards a deeper understanding of your emotional landscape and a more vibrant expression of your love. Hello, Leo Simha. Your tarot love reading for the week of November 1st to the 7th highlights the chariot. This card represents determination, control, and victory. So if you're single, the chariot's a sign that you're in control of your love life. Is that true? Um, it also does tell you that um, you have the determination and willpower to find the right partner. You might need to take charge, be proactive, and steer your love life in the direction you want it to go. For those already in a relationship, the chariot indicates that your relationship is moving towards a shared goal. It's a sign of progress and can indicate a deeper commitment or taking the next step together. Communication is key during this time. Make sure both of you, you and your partner, are on the same page about where the relationship is headed. The chariot also serves as a reminder to maintain balance in your love life. While it's important to strive for what you want, of course, remember to keep your emotions in check and not to let your determination turn into <coughs> obsession. So as we move into November, it's a time of self-control and determination. For Leo Simha this, Simha, this could mean taking the reins in your love life and steering it down the path you desire. So in essence, dear Simha Leo, the chariot invites you to approach your love life with determination, control, and the will to succeed. Let the transformative energies of November guide you towards achieving your love goals. Greetings, Virgo. Kanya, your love tower, tower, oh, tower, your love tower reading this week from the first to the seventh presents the steadfast tsa, one of the slowest nights, the knights of coin, the knight of coins. This card symbolizes patience, dedication, and a methodological methodology. Method <laughs> My ths are no good today. I'm sorry. <laughs> A methodical, that's what I wanted to say. The card symbolizes patience, dedication, and a methodical approach to life. If you're single, the Knight of Coins suggests that you might attract someone who is reliable, patient, and hardworking. This person could bring a sense of stability and practicality in your life. Be patient, as this relationship may take time to develop. Remember, it's a slow night but has the potential to be longer lasting and fulfilling. For those in a relationship already, the Knight of Coins signifies a period of stability and steady growth. It's a time to appreciate the reliability and consistency in your partnership. This card encourages you to express your commitment and work towards shared goals, fostering a deeper bond. The Knight of Coins also advises you to have a patient and practical approach to your love life. Avoid rushing into decisions or forcing changes. Instead, allow things to unfold naturally. This card reminds you that good things take time. As we move into November, the energies favor patience and perseverance. For Virgo and Kanya, this could mean steadily working towards your love goals, nurturing your existing relationship relationships and patiently waiting for the right opportunities in love. This period might also bring about a slow but sure progression in those relationships, as I mentioned. So be committed to your path. In essence, dear Virgo, Kanya, the Knight of Coins invites you to approach your love life with patience, dedication, and practicality. Let, sta let the stable energies of November guide you towards lasting love. And remember, consistency is key in matters of the heart. Greetings, Libra Tula. Your love tarot reading for the week, November 1st to the 7th, brings you the intriguing, I'll say it again, intriguing 
Seven of Swords. Now, this is a card that symbolizes strategy, stealth, and sometimes even deception. If you're single, the Seven of Swords suggests that you might find yourself drawn to someone who's mysterious or elusive. While their intrigue might be appealing, it's essential to proceed with caution. Make sure to look beyond the surface appearances. Look under that and understand their true intentions before getting emotionally involved. For those of you who are already in a relationship, this Seven of Swords could indicate a period of hidden issues or secrets. It's a call to confront any underlying problems or misunderstandings that may have been swept under the rug. Open and honest communication is key to resolving those issues and strengthening your bond. The Seventh of Swords also urges you to be tactful and strategic in your approach towards love, whether you're navigating the early stages of a relationship or tackling challenges in an existing one, careful planning and clear thinking will guide you towards positive outcomes. As we enter November, the energies encourage introspection and honesty. Honesty. For Libra Tula, this period could involve shedding light on hidden aspects of your love life, revealing truths and making strategic decisions for your own emotional well-being. However, the Seven of Swords also warns against deceit, either being deceived or by others or self-deception. Be honest about, with yourself about your feelings and desires and demand the same authenticity from your partner or potential love interest. In essence, dear Libra Tula, the Seven of Swords calls for wisdom, honesty, and careful strategy in your love life. Let the reflective energies of November guide you towards clarity, truth, and remember, transparency Transparency is key to and crucial to matters of the heart. Greetings, Scorpio. Rishika, your love tower re tower. I keep saying tarot, tower for tarot. Tarot reading, your love tower reading for the week of the November 1st to November 7th brings you the radiant, I'll say it again, the radiant energy of the sun. There you go. The sun. This card signifies joy, vitality, and a sense of fulfillment. So if you're single, the sun suggests that you're likely to attract someone who brings positivity and joy into your life. This person could light up your world in ways you didn't think were possible. Be open to this warmth and allow it to guide you towards love. For those who are already in a relationship, the sun indicates a period of happiness and contentment. It's a time to appreciate the joy and harmony in your relationship. This card encourages you to express your feelings and gratitude toward your partner, strengthening that connection. The sun also reminds you to stay optimistic and positive in your love life. It's bright energy can help you to dispel any doubts or fears you might have, illuminating your path towards love. And as we transition into November, the energies are full of brightness and positivity. For Scorpio Vrishika, this could mean experiencing a period of joy and fulfillment in your life, your love life, embracing the warmth of love and radiating positivity. This period might also bring about a sense of clarity to your romantic relationships. The sun's light reveals everything. We know that light brings revelations. So any misunderstandings or confusions are likely to be cleared up this week, in es this midweek. In essence, dear uh, Scorpio Rishika, the sun invites you to approach your love life with joy, optimism, and a sense of fulfillment. Let the positive energies of November guide you towards love and remember, positivity is key in matters of the heart. Greetings, greetings, Sagittarius Danos, and your love tarot reading for the week of November 1st to the 7th brings you the joyful energy of the Four of Wands, one of my favorite tarot cards. This card signifies celebration, celebrate 
Um, it, it means harmony and stability. So if you're single, that Four of Wands suggests you might meet someone who brings a sense of joy and harmony into your life. This person could be someone with whom you share a deep connection and mutual respect. This relationship has the potential to bring about a sense of stability and contentment in your life. For those already in a relationship, the Four of Wands indicates a time of celebration and harmony. It's a time to appreciate that stability and mutual understanding in this relationship. Your card, this card, encourages you to express though, express your happiness and to celebrate your love together, strengthening that bond. The Four of Wands, Wands advises you to enjoy the joys of love and to appreciate the stability it brings. It's a reminder to celebrate your achievements in love and to cherish those harmonious relationships in your life. And as we transition into November, the energies are ripe for celebration and joy. For Sagittarius Donners, this could mean celebrating love in your life, enhancing and embracing the harmony of your relationships and enjoying the stability that they bring. This period might also bring about a sense of completion or achievement in your romantic relationships. The Four of Wands is often seen as a card of homecoming, of coming home. So you might find yourself reaching a significant milestone in your love life. So in essence, dear Sagittarius Danus, the Four of Wands invites you to approach your love life with a sense of celebration, harmony, and stability. Let the joyous energies of November guide you towards love and Remember, celebration is also key to relationships and matters of the heart. Bye-bye. <laughs> Greetings, Capricorn Makara. Your love tarot reading for the week of November 1st to the 7th presents the Five of Pentacles. This card symbolizes hardship, isolation, and a need for support. So if you're single, the Five of Pentacles suggests you might be feeling lonely or isolated, However, this card encourages you to seek support and connection from those around you. It's a reminder that you're not alone and that there are people who care about you and want to help. For those already in a relationship, the Five of Pentacles may signify a challenging time. You and your partner may be feeling neglected or misunderstood. It's important to communicate openly about your feelings and work together to overcome these challenges. The Five of Pentacles also encourages you to remain resilient in the face of adversity. Even though things may seem difficult, remember that this is only temporary and better times are ahead. And as we transition into November, the energies may test your resilience and strength. For Capricorn Makata, this could mean facing some challenges in your love life, but remember it's through overcoming these hardships that we grow stronger. This period might also bring about a sense of isolation or misunderstanding in your relationships. However, this Five of Pentacles is also a card of discovery, and it means that help and improvement are on the way. So in essence, dear Capricorn Makata, the Five of Pentacles invites you to face any challenges in your love life with resilience and courage. Seek support when you need it, and remember, this is a phase and it too shall pass. Let the energies of November guide you towards understanding and overcoming any obstacles in your path to love and of love. Greetings, greetings Aquarius Kumba, your love tarot reading of the week of November 1st to the 7th brings you the inspiring energy of the star, of the star. Now, what is this? all about. This card contemplates and symbolizes hope, inspiration, and serenity. If you're single, the star suggests that you might meet somebody who inspires you and fills your life with positivity. This person could be a beacon of hope and serenity in your life. Be open to this energy and let it guide you towards love. For those in a relationship, the star indicates a period of tranquility and renewal. It's a time to appreciate the peace and understanding in your relationships. This card encourages you to express your hopes and dreams to your partner, reinforcing your bond. The star is also a reminder to stay hopeful and positive in your love life. Its serene energy can help dispel any doubts or fears you might have 
illuminating your path towards love. As we transition into November, the energies are full of hope and inspiration. So for Kumba Aquarius, this could mean experiencing a period of serenity and renewal in your love life, embracing the peacefulness of love and radiating positivity. This period might also bring about a sense of clarity in your romantic relationships. The sun's light reveals everything, so any misunderstandings or confusions are likely to be clear up. In essence, dear Aquarius Kumba, this star invites you to approach your love life with hope, tranquility, and inspiration. Let the positive energies of November guide you towards love. And remember, maintaining a positive outlook is so important for everything. Greetings, Pisces Mina. Um, your love tarot reading, and you are last but not least, your Love Tower reading for the week of November to the 7th brings about the collaborative energy of that Three of Coins, Three of Pentacles. This card signifies teamwork, collaboration, and building a solid foundation. If you're single, the Three of Pentacles suggests that you might meet someone who values collaboration and partnership as much as you do. This person could be someone with whom you can build a strong and solid relationship. Be open to this energy and let it guide you towards love. For those already in a relationship, the Three of Pentacles indicates a time of cooperation and mutual effort. It's a time to appreciate the solid foundation you've built together and continue working on and strengthening your bond. This card encourages you to work closely with your partner to achieve those common goals. The Three of Pentacles also advises you to value teamwork in your love life. Its energy promotes the idea that love is a joint effort requiring patience, understanding, and hard work. So as we transition into November, the energies are ripe for collaboration and mutual effort. And for Pisces Mina, this could mean working together with your partner to achieve those common goals or meeting someone new with whom you can build a strong and solid relationship. This period might also bring about a sense of accomplishment in your romantic relationships. The Three of Pentacles is office seen, office, 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 <laughs> sorry about that, is often, often, this Three of Pentacles is often seen as a card of building something. So you might find yourself reaching a significant milestone in your life. So in essence, dear Pisces, Mina, uh, Mina, the Three of Pentacles invites you to approach your love life with a sense of teamwork and mutual effort. Let the collaborative energies of November guide you towards love and remember, building a strong foundation, God only knows, is key to having a good and solid relationship. Bye-bye until we see and read together again.